Welcome to Study Guide Forum. Today we'll be looking at the NECO Quantitative Analysis Chemistry 2024. We're going to be looking at the possible questions you are likely to be uh, test you are going to carry out in this uh, very exam. The, the thought given to us is C is a zinc chloride, Y D is milk. So what we're looking at now is the possible questions. In the possible question, the first thing you are likely to do is you know, all like, just like any other exams, we do the solubility test. That's the solubility test by adding it to water to know whether it's soluble. So when you add water, then you distill water. After adding distilled water, you shake it. On shaking it, what you observe, observation will be soluble and then gives a clear, a clear solution gives a clear, a clear solution what it simply means here is soluble soluble ions or soluble salts present so um the a portion of the solution we got from here we add dilute um Sodium hydroxide in drops, in drops, we notice what um, white, white gelatinous gel precipitate PPT um, in SS, in SS, soluble, soluble in SS. So, what we will be looking at for here. In the inference, since we don't really know the very salt, but we know that lead can give us something like that. What precipitate? Lead ion, aluminium ion, and then uh, um, zinc ion. That means they are likely present. Likely present. So um, the next one we do here. We will come to another portion of the solution from above, that's one, aqueous ammonia. In adding addition of aqueous ammonia, in addition of aqueous ammonia, in drops, we have a, we have a white, white gel precipitates, precipitates, then in a, in essence, we have a, uh, so logo. So logo in in SS. So since it's soluble in SS, since it's soluble in SS, what it simply means here, what it simply means here is zinc ion, zinc ion presence, zinc ion presence. Because zinc ion is the ion that will give you soluble um, soluble um, precipitate with aqueous ammonia, while lead and aluminium the precipitate will be insoluble. So that means zinc here is pres is present. So in the last portion, the last one will have the portion of the solution from the same one from one above add a soda lime. That soda lime solution in drops and then in excess in drops we have white gel precipitates precipitates white gelatinous precipitates um insoluble insoluble in excess this confirm what zinc ion Confirmed. So that means that means that what we have there is zinc ion. So we're going to move on to the next uh, question here for the organic compound that we're going to be testing. So in the the next one, that's testing for the D, um, which is milk. In the test, what you are likely to be expecting is in the first rule of it, D plus hydrochloric acid. Um, what you notice here is the, the solution will 
uh, will plot, you notice the plotting, plotting of the solution. Plotting of the solution. So what is telling us is that uh, what the observation here will have what it means is that protein present. So um, the next one is the uh, um, copper surface solution plus dilute hydrochloric acid. On in the observation, what you notice is purple coloration. Purple coloration. Uh, some say it's violent. Um, I remember that was an little argument then. Um, then purple coloration form. So what we have in the um, inference will be what protein. Protein confirmed. Now, um, one thing I want to pass across here, if you look at the line of reagents given, you find out that there is no possible reagent there that was, that's likely to be used in test for chlorine, which is here, because uh, unless there will be any other reason, they will ask us, because we know that chlorine can be tested with what? Silver nitrate, and then with uh, silver nitrate, and uh, uh, what again, self? And dilute nitrate 5 acid, and then, if you notice that 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 it does not what the one of the provisions for the exam. So, and possible it's possible that there will be no test for chlorine. For coming this far, thank you so much for being part of the class. And if you have not subscribed, we want you to, to subscribe and then share. If you have any question, you can leave it as a comment there. We'll be happy to hear from you. And if you want to speak to us directly or maybe chat us up, you can visit our Facebook page. There you can have access to chatting with us or perhaps you can even call us from there because there's a number there for you to make that contact um thank you so much